Hey guys, welcome back. Orbomb here, bringing you week 14 of the CPL. Now I am in a rush because I have to get to work literally right after this. I just had that battle with um, with uh, Blake of the MPL, so be sure to check that out the day after this one comes out. If I get to edit in time, I'm in a super busy weekend mode, guys. But uh, I just <laughs> quickly threw the team back together. I hopefully I get it all right. I lost the, I lost everything on my computer because it crashed. So, phew. I'm just gonna go ahead and challenge him. And, uh, because I don't have time for this. Uh, this should be right. I really hope this is right. Okay, so that's challenged. Um, okay. So this is a, this is a really fun match. It's important for Rain to win. We don't want him to win, of course, but it's important for him to win. Um, making sure everything is set up. No interruptions. There are people yelling still. And, uh, alright. Damage calc open. I want to see if I can get this whole thing set up. Let's try, um... Cack turn. Here it is. Custom set. That's cool that it does that. This is kind of rad. All right. Uh, and I'll be, oh yeah, I should probably pause. I'll be right back, guys. All right, we're back. He didn't bring sand, which is even better for my tornadoes. Like that's amazing for my tornadoes. His lead here is most likely Omastar. I kind of want to just straight up lead with Cacturn. Hazards don't affect me too much in this game. Of course, I don't want them up. Um, <clears throat> a Cacturn lead is kind of nice, though. Because um, Cacturn does the work to his team. That's not Cacturn. That's Quagsire. If he leads with Rotom, which he most likely will be doing. I mean, Cacturn is still my best bet if he leads with Rotom. I can actually go. I can actually lead with Gengar, though. Gengar speeds his whole team. I mean, not a Scarfed Rotom. Let's go with Cacturn. <clears throat> Let's go start the timer. We are set and ready to go. I like the Cacturn lead because I can actually sucker punch the Rotom if he wants to start with that. If he burns my Rotom, that would be kind of annoying, actually. Hmm. That kind of makes me want to... I'm going to start with Gengar because I want to know if he's choiced or not. Um, it's a nice protect lead. Um, most likely Scarfed Moldbreaker Excadrill. Which rain still beats. Um, loading music, chill. Oh, uh, whatever, it's fine. I don't care. Um, <clears throat> so I guess uh, let's see. Uh, is that still my best bet? Gengar, because uh, if he leads with extra drill, it's gonna be annoying. But I do have Cacturn as a nice extra drill counter. Actually, my Cacturn has a spiky shield, so Cacturn is still my good lead. Oh, this is bad for him. Is he going to stay in an attack turn one? I'm just going to seed bomb. <laughs> I don't think Hoopa gets Willow. I'm actually pretty positive Hoopa doesn't get Willow, or else Hoopa unbound with Willowis would be used more often, to be fair. I'm just going to seed bomb here. I uh, wasn't really expecting the Hoopa lead. He's probably scarfed Hoopa, or he's substitute Hoopa. I'm not going for Sucker Punch this turn because, one, he's definitely switching out. And, two, if he does go for the Sucker Punch, uh, if he does go for the Substitute, my Sucker Punch is going to fail. That's going to be an issue for my Cac turn. So, Upa is not too big of a deal. I do have Aqua Jet with my Cac turn, too. As you go straight into Drapion, which is his best switch into this Pokemon. He's probably going to get up the Toxic Spikes. Um, I don't know what else he would do, though. I'm gonna I'm going to spiky shield this turn. I just want to see what he's going to do, to be fair. As he does sub up, which is fine. Um, sub this thing being subbed up is not a huge threat to me. I do have Rocky Helmet on my Quagsire too, so let's go ahead and see what he's gonna do. Poison jab, take that residual, no poison. Fantastic. Yeah, you can just keep taking that damage, buddy. I am going to um, Encore him. Oh damn it. But the Encore is nice, because now he's stuck doing that. And I can actually freely recover here. He's going to do little to no damage, going for knockoff nonstop. That actually gives me a free switch into Scizor, but I can actually, I'd rather recover, break his uh, substitute. I can actually Encore him to sub 2 later. So I'm just going to Scald here. Yeah, it's doing 21%. I'm, this, is, this thing's not a threat to me. Like, he can keep doing that if he wants. I don't care. So Scald's breaking. Um, the only issue with his Drapion is that he keeps getting his health back. Um, I can't Toxic it either. So uh, 
He knows knockoff, poison jab, most likely earthquake. Looks like Scizor has kind of beats this thing. I want to know what his last move is, so I'm actually just going to... Yeah, he goes right into the Omastar here, and I go right into my Cacturn. Do I go for Cacturn? That's kind of an aggressive play, because he can make the aggressive play and go for the... Um, I don't really need Cacturn, though. He can make the aggressive play and go for Ice Beam, which would be a decent play, as he goes for Toxic Spikes. <clears throat> I'm going to make the aggressive play and go right into Scizor, though. As he goes right back into Drapion, which is great for me, I get to see what kind of set this Pokemon is. Uh, it is a Dark type, so U-Turn is going to be doing a lot of damage. As he stays in, okay, so he just goes for knockoff. I don't know why, but he does. Um, he's not Scarf, so Gengar could come in. I think I like, ooh, but Gengar, like I have to land a Focus Blast if I go into Gengar. I have to make that risk. Gengar is not too useful this game anyways. And he doesn't have a focus blast switch in besides um, the likes of Hoopa. Which he goes right into Excadrill. Uh, not really sure why. <laughs> I guess he just sacked it off there. But there goes Excadrill. That's Mold Breaker Pokemon just right out of the way. Uh, as he goes into Porygon, definitely Scarf Porygon. I'm going to go right back into Quags. Uh... <sighs> I'm going to protect here. Let's see what he locks himself into. He goes right for the try attack. Perfect. And I know he's like locked into that, so I'm going for Focus Blast here. See, this is why I want to run Protect, specifically for this Porygon. As we get this hope, don't connect, connect, doesn't connect, that's a shame. Um, I'm going to go for Shadow Ball here. He's probably going for another Toxic Spikes. I can get off 60%, it'll land. He gets up all his hazards. Uh, once again, not the biggest deal for me this week. It does break my Focus Sash on Kabutops, which is a little, a little bit annoying. Uh, as he goes right into Porygon, we're going to protect just to see what he goes into. Um, or let's see what attack he goes for. As he goes into this thing, so it tells me that he's Scarfed for sure. Um, I can survive like a Scarfed attack and kill this thing right now with Sludge Wave. Or it won't kill. Okay, so he's going for Willow. So yeah, I'm just going to go for Sludge Wave here. Gone. All right. Gengar putting in the work this week. Already getting two kills. Um, so uh, seeing, seeing the Willow made me realize he wasn't Scarfed. And if he was Scarfed, he just had to go for Willow again. And he really didn't have a very good... Um, so this thing is not Scarfed for sure. So I'm just going to go for Shadow Ball here. Kill that thing. <laughs> Jeez. All right. Um, so yeah, I knew he wasn't Scarfed because he was already running Scarfed. No way you were Scarfed. Even if you were, um, Gengar did its job. Yep, and that's what I was about to say next. Even if he was Scarfed, I didn't need Gengar anymore. Because Gengar already get, got the kills that I needed him to get. Uh, the only thing I would need him for was Drapion. And uh, I do have Hurricane, Rain Dance right there. I still have Scizor that does a lot with U-Turn and Superpower, which will knock it out. And... I have Kabutops, which Waterfall's going to do a shit ton anyways. Even though I'm not like I'm not a lot of speed on Kabuto, so that would be annoying. But Knockoff is okay, because I don't need the Sash anymore, clearly. Alright, so what's, what's next? Like, all I have to do is land Focus Blast now. And with Protect, I can scout out his, uh, his, um, his locked, choice locked Pokemon. Check the right Hoopa, buddy. Unless he was like max special defense, max HP, uh, assault vest, which I don't even think that kills. But it's okay. I mean, it's okay. I mean. I'm gonna go ahead and calc that myself because now I feel bad. If that's the case, I feel horrible. Uh, and there goes the yellow offensive trick room. Let's just say max HP. I guess I don't really need to do that. 252 assault vest versus Gengar custom sets. There it is. Uh, Shadow Ball. Yeah. Oh, no, there's no way. He can't be max HP then. 
Yes, if this is the set, then they definitely got definitely got max damage. Well, I guess he's upset now. Um, GG, I suppose. Um, be sure. To <laughs> That's a shame, man. That sucks. I know what it is. I know what it's like too, because I've I've been through that. I'm gonna go ahead and pass on the replay. Um, be sure to drop a like, subscribe, share all that good jazz. Um, Definitely, definitely unfortunate for my opponent, Rain. I didn't necessarily mean for that to happen. And like I said earlier, I didn't need the Gengar, which is why I made that play. I guess it just kind of worked out for me. Um, so yeah, uh, drop a like, subscribe, share, all that good jazz. Your Houstonian Hoopas are now 12 and 1. Uh, is that right? Yeah, we have one more game. One more game, huh? Are we 13 and 1 or 12 and 1? Whatever, because uh, we have 15 games this season with one off weeks, so which means 14 wins or losses. All right, so yeah, we're 12 and run right now. Be sure to drop a like, subscribe, share. Next week we battle Creator versus Creator. We're battling Fugio next week, so be hyped for that. And yeah, then after that, it's finals. We'll get, we get to see who we get to face for the final three weeks. It's Fugio and then the two finalists, or two of the four finalists. Uh, with CPL being almost over, if any YouTubers want to join that are currently watching this, be sure to hit me up. We are definitely having tryouts very soon. We had some people who dropped who can't necessarily do the league anymore because of school stuff or work stuff. So we do have a couple of openings. So be sure to check it out. Hit me up on, um, on Skype or BombAB. And I'll catch you guys later.